all right everybody <laughs> i'm so so excited once again to be with you this is a chapter a day <clears throat> and i am rachel i'm your host i am so so glad that you're here again with me and i thank you so much for clicking on this video and i thank you so much for joining me once again thank you thank you thank you god bless you and if this is your first time of clicking on one of these videos this is a chapter a day a chapter a day is a forum where we, we read a chapter from the scripture every day so if you would like to be part of this forum why don't you just go ahead and click that subscribe button and then you click the bell so that you will be notified of any videos that are released from this forum okay the name of this channel is moments um, blissful moments and you know we are going to be having lots of different things okay we are not just going to read the bible we are going to have fun we are going to have just a blast just a bliss okay so i'm so happy you're here with me you're welcome and thank you so very much for joining later in the day i <clears throat> had posted a video of um chapter two and i'm so very sorry for the music that came in and everything <laughs> i am still struggling to get used to the features of youtube and you know sometimes it will not just turn out the way i expected it i was i was like oh my god the music took over the introduction and everything but i don't want you to worry about that you can just forward it and then you get to where i was you know i started because where the music occupied were just frivolities just greetings and all those introductory things that you know okay so don't worry about that i'm really really sorry for that because i know that it's it could be really annoying if you didn't know please or if you didn't watch the video because of that music or maybe you thought that the music was all the way through i want to tell you that it's a very powerful video go and watch it <clears throat> okay you're going to get a lot of things from there and i believe that you are going to be blessed by it okay so today we are going to look at genesis chapter 3 and before we go to chapter 3 i left a question with chapter 2 and the question was about uh why was the man and the woman not ashamed of their nakedness why they were in the garden of eden you remember the in in um verse 25 of chapter 2 the bible says that and they were both naked the man and his wife and were not ashamed so I want you to leave me your thoughts about that, okay? Uh, we are not going to talk about this one today. I just, I'll just go straight to chapter three. I want to read it, and <clears throat> I would like to know what you think. I really, really want to know what is in your mind. So I want you to leave. Go back to that video. You can watch it, and then you can leave your comments in the comment section or your thoughts in the comment section. And then don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to invite your family. Don't forget to invite your, you know, loved ones so that they can join us in this forum everybody needs to get knowledge of the truth and how all this you know how the how all this came about so it's important for us to go deep into it so today we are looking at uh, chapter 3 of Genesis and I'm going to be reading with you it is quite a very sad chapter because it is the beginning of the fall but in all things we have hope because we have we have been <laughs> we have we we are we are able you know to have redemption through the blood of jesus christ so let's see where it all started in this one also there is there is a very powerful inspiration that god gave me once from this um chapter three and i know that one day i'm going to make a video on it and i'm going to let you know okay <clears throat> all the things that god was telling me about this chapter okay so for now we are just going to read the chapter and then when we read the chapter you you can just go through it look into the chapter if you find anything that you think that we you want to share with somebody else or an inspiration you just leave it in the comment section i believe that all the people that come back to read those comments are going to gain something from you okay so thank you so very much um <clears throat> now let us let us go chapter 3 verse 1 <clears throat> Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, You shall not eat it, 
nor shall you touch it lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of it, she took of its fruit and ate. <clears throat> she also gave the she also gave to her husband with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So Adam said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then he said, The woman whom you gave me to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Curse is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorn and thistle it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the herbs of the field. In the sweet, in the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread. Till <clears throat> you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Also, for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothing then the lord god said behold the man has become like one of us to know good and evil and now lest he put out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever therefore the lord god sent him out of the garden of eden to till the ground from which he was taken so he drove out the man and he placed cherubims at the east of the garden of Eden and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. Amen. <clears throat> now that is chapter 3. How sad, how breaking, how breaking that that is what happened and that is why we all were born in sin. We all were born in sin and we all need redemption so if you are watching me and you think that because you're very good or because you're very you think that you do good things you think that you help the poor you think that you you do all the righteous things that you did that you're saved and you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior I want to tell you that you are not yet saved okay because there is this sin that is lingering over you the sin of your ancestors the sin of the person from which you came from Adam and from Eve and this sin has run through the generations of the world okay <clears throat> because it is that sin 
that put us in slavery, that gave the devil a legal right over every human being. And if you are listening to me, I want to tell you that you need Jesus to be able to enter into a new covenant, which is not this old covenant of sin. You need to enter into a new covenant, which is a covenant with the blood of Jesus. A covenant which you become born again and have a new spirit in you. Okay? Because you remember the Lord God told them in the in verse um <clears throat> in chapter two. He told them that of the day that you eat of this fruit, you will die. That is chapter two, verse seventeen. He says that but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Okay? It means that something something died in man that day and a new thing was born. That is why I was asking you a question. The question that I asked you was in this chapter 2 was that why was it that they were both naked at that time but they were not ashamed? You remember that in chapter 2, the Bible said that they were naked but they did not sew fig leaves to cover themselves. They did not sew, you know, you know, they did not run away from the presence of God. But <clears throat> in chapter 3 now, after they had eaten that fruit, now the Bible says that their eyes were open. Okay? And then, now they were like, oh, 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 we're naked. And then suddenly they were ashamed of themselves. And then they covered themselves with fig leaves. Alright? So, it's getting interesting. There's something. There's something. <laughs> so, what I want you to do is, now tell me. Why were they now after in chapter three, in, in chapter three? Okay, why were they ashamed? Why did they cover themselves with fig leaves? But meanwhile, at first they did not cover themselves with fig leaves. Why do you think that they cover themselves now with fig leaves? So you can see, you can see there's the, a drastic change, something break, something tall spiritually. Okay, there was there was there was a, a a a separation. Okay, what I'm seeing now, I'm seeing like you know in this in this movie kind of thing how the the earth break and.